So, the endothelial cells, so far they have been a little sad in our discussions, they are probably going to be crying in a, in a second or so, but we have started talking about them, so hopefully they will become happy. So, endothelial cells are also participants of the defense mechanism. They are not really defending us, but they are playing a role in the immunity, inflammation, repair, healing and those things. And then in future we would see that they are also very important cells to note and to see what, what is happening to them when we talk about uh, grafting. Tissue graft, many of the times the graft gets rejection and the first line of cells which get destroyed are the endothelial cells. So, these are really very important participants in the immune system. They are not direct players, they are indirect players. And so, that is why they are a little sad that hey, we have very important function to do, but you still do not talk about us that much. So, we would give them enough respect and honor and we say okay, we will talk about endothelial cells as well. One more cell which would be very important for us to keep in mind at the end of the day, immune system is defending someone. Do you know who it is defending? It is defending the remaining cells all the remaining cells which make us our body. These are the cells which are receiving the defensive uh, or defense services from immune system. So, these guys are not just sitting here and saying okay, you know we are good fighters and we can defend. We need to defend something, there has to be jewel, there has to be some diamonds and there has to be some things which are sitting somewhere which this immune system is trying to, to defend. So, these little gems which it is defending, remember we talked about it last time, we have a happy home that is a happy cell, right. And what is the quality of this happy cell? We should know the qualities of the happy cells, healthy cells, because the other guys here, the innate immunity cells they recognize that the cell is not happy or healthy and they have a way to recognizing it. Once they find out that this cell it is not happy, it is not healthy, it is pathologically ill, they kill it or they take care of it. So, remember we talked about it that the cell which is not happy probably has gotten some happy pathogens in it, which are really eating up the cell from inside and they are destroying it and they are having parties inside and they are really, really happy. The, the pathogens are happy. The cell is really sad, he, he cannot imagine this is what happened to it. And remember one indicator was that the MHC density. So, if there are hundreds and thousands of MHC on a cell, this cell which is not happy would probably just show 1 MHC or 2 MHCs remember MHC class 1, we talked about it and we will talk at length about this. MHC class 1 appears on every cell which has a nucleus, every cell, so RBCs do not have them. Every cell which has a nucleus displays MHC class 1 on its surface, right. And so that MHC class 1 is felt by the innate immune system to say well, is this a happy cell or not. So, when the innate immune system would feel this cell, remember we talked about natural killer, he does this specially, he would feel this cell, he say well he has proper amount of MHC on it, he has hair, he is fine, but this guy well he does not have enough MHCs on it and he is then going to take care of it. There is one more thing now that we are on this topic of healthy cell, there is one more thing please remember it, do not forget it, write it down somewhere on a notebook and make a box around that, make some stars on it and just remember it, please do not forget it. That is this. So, let us say we have a cell membrane. So, we have a cell, this is one cell and this cell is a happy cell, healthy cell and we know that all cells have phospholipids or a lipid bilayer, right. In that lipid bilayer, we have we have hydrophilic sides 
and we have hydrophobic sites. This is cell, this is chapter 1 of physiology. So, I hope I do not have to revise it, but please remember that the cell membrane is a lipid bilayer on the sides, the outer sides are hydrophilic, they like water, these cells are happy, these are not cells, these proteins or these molecules are happy with water. Inside, inside are lipids, right. These are the lipids which do not want to face water, they, they are just so embarrassed with water, they do not like it. So, let us say water is here, this is cytoplasm. Somewhere inside the cytoplasm are uh, cellular organelle, there is nucleus, there are other things, I am not making them, I am trying to make a point here. And similarly, outside the cell is water as well, right. So, it is a, it's a big ocean our body is a big ocean, remember 60 percent of, of it is water, it is a big ocean which has gotten closed ships in it. So, these ships are different from the ships which you see in the ocean, they are not open ships, these cells are rounded capsules, they are closed. So, imagine if you pick up a pumpkin and throw it in the ocean, that pumpkin is a cell there. So, I have cut that cell. So, water is outside, so 